Now that we've entered the hottest part of the summer, we've been seeing extreme heat across the nation. And as we see that extreme heat, one thing is for certain, the city centers are going to be a lot hotter than outlying areas. This is something we call the urban heat island effect. Out in the country, you've got all kinds of grass, you've got crops, you've got trees. These things don't retain heat like the city does. Also, these plants and vegetation, they release moisture, moisture that evaporates and that actually cools the air. And that tends to keep the rural areas much cooler than the outlying city areas. So out in a rural area on a hot summer day, might get into the mid 80s for instance. But when we go into the city, things are even hotter. That's due to all of that blacktop, all of that concrete, the brick, the asphalt, the dark surfaces that absorb all of the sun's radiation and then readmit it in the form of heat. So the bottom line is the city gets even hotter. And again, this is what we call the urban heat island effect. So in the city, you might have a temperature that gets up into the low 90s, opposed to in the country where that temperature may only be in the mid 80s. Something else important that happens in the city when we get rain. Well, that rain runs off. It doesn't soak into the ground. It doesn't soak into the vegetation. So as that water runs off, we don't get the evaporation that we get in rural areas. So because of that, once the rain ends, things heat up again, and then you just add that humidity on top of it, and it makes things feel even worse. So from going to the city, to the country, this is an example of what that temperature trace might look like. Again, in the city, you've got all the blacktop, all the concrete, the building materials that soak up that heat and make things hotter. But as you get to the outlying areas, you don't have that. And you have the plants, the vegetation soaking up that water and releasing it and evaporative cooling taking place. So yes, hotter in the city centers, cooler as you get to the suburban and outlying areas. And even in the cities, the parks are always going to be a little cooler too due to all of that vegetation. This is something we call the urban heat island effect. And that's why we get more extreme temperatures in the big cities, particularly in downtown areas.